Hey guys and welcome to a brand new episode of my Splatoon 2 Online Let's Play. Today we're going to be trying out the L3 Nozzle Nose. And this is the weapon. We have seen it in Splat... Not Splam and Run. Salmon Run a few episodes ago. I think the episode was called Having Some Salmon Fun. Or something like that. And it looks like this. And it shoots in three fire bursts like so. And you can't just hold down and shoot endlessly. And the sub it has is the Kale Bomb or something like that. I think it's called. And then the special is the Baller, which we've not really used much. And just works like that. And it does quite a lot of damage, apparently. The gun itself does... Let me get far away. I can't even hit them now. 57 and then 87, I think. No, 29, 58, 80 something. Because it's in three bursts, it's hard to see the exact damage it does. But anyway, let's get into some games with it. So guys, here we are in our first game. We're on Tear 4, and I don't know whether this weapon will be good for coverage or good for killing. So after this match, we're going to try out, unless it's like really good at Tear 4, and in this game, we're going to go into ranked battles and try it out. But we've got our special already. So I'm going to go over to the green side and blow up over here. And no, I'm not going to get killed because apparently it has a very big blowing up range. And I do prefer like other weapons that you can hold down and keep shooting the whole time, for example, whatever weapon he's using, I think it's an Aerospray MG, um, it could be another type, or it could be, as in, another type of the Aerospray, or it could be a completely different weapon, but it is bearable, it's not the worst thing in the world, and I don't really know why this game isn't too, like, intense or anything, it's very calm at the moment. Which is kind of unfitting to the music, to be honest. Right, I'm going to go over here and try to blow this guy up. Right, I didn't manage to, but can we kill him anyway? Right, he's throwing bombs everywhere, so it's probably best to try to get out of the way of them. And... Seems it's lagging a bit. I hope that's not showing up on the video. It's not to the point where, like, it's unplayable or causing me to not be able to play as well as usual, but... It's noticeable, which is unfortunate, but hopefully you can't notice it. Right, I don't know where that guy's gone. But hopefully I can kill him. Right, that other teammate, Liam, got him. So, that is fine. Right, I'm going to use my baller and go blow that guy up. There we go. I think nearly all the kills I've got this match are from with my special, which isn't necessarily a bad or a good thing, it's just something I've noticed, even though it does seem like it might be quite good for killing things, because I remember it being quite good in Salmon Run, which I think it was episode, I think it was in the 20s when we tried it out, so if you do want, I think it was 27. So if you do want to see a bit more of this weapon, there will be some of it used in that episode as well. And I don't know if we're going to win now or not, because at the end they sort of picked up a lot of turf near the middle. But we do have this whole area. So, I guess we'll see whether we won or not. Right, I think we've won that one. Let's see if... Yep, we have. Which is nice to start off the episode. So here we are, as I said, on a ranked battle this time. We're on tower control on the map Imp Block Art Academy. And we've got the same music again. Um, so let's see how this goes. We're not off to a terrible start. Already at 88 remaining, which is better than they are, but they might overtake it now as they currently have the tower. So... Let's see if we can get over there and stop 
them and I need to turn my audio down. Oh, I got killed by... I thought it was by the end zap up on that towery area thingy. And of course we have a guy doing nothing. He's not quick, but still, it's annoying. If we do end up missing, like with a player missing, the way you find out, well the way you check is, when it has the X like it does in the top right now, well it doesn't anymore, if the gun is, if the weapon is coloured in it means they've left the lobby and they're no longer in the match. And if the gun's not coloured, it's just white or I guess it's grey, it doesn't mean anything. It just means they're dead. So that's fine if it's just grey. Right, can I kill this guy? No. I seem to be quite useless with this weapon at the moment, which is quite bad because it means they're probably going to win. Right, they're right there. Can I kill any of them? Right, I got Muffin, whoever that was, and Sticks. And there's a guy over there. Maybe that bomb will be able to get in. Ooh. Yes, got him. And I'm going to try to cover up a lot of this purple. How did they take the tower? No, I need to get up there and stop this. Can I climb up walls with this? No, I can't, and I should have let that blown up then. Oh no, they've got the tower again. We didn't have it, but it, they didn't have it either, which was good, but now they've got it again. And we are missing a player. As you can see, the NZAP89 is coloured in, which means he's left, so... This isn't really fair, so... If we lose, it might not... There we go. I was expecting a loss, because that guy left. Now let's hopefully do better next time. So, we're back on Inkblot Art Academy again, still trying out tower control, because for some reason I have a feeling this weapon will be fine for it. So, I guess we will find out. I currently can reach the whole tower, so I can see Ooh, I can kill that guy, hopefully. No, I can't. How can you see... Yeah, first see me and second reach me. I know there's a guy up there somewhere. Not anymore, it seems. I don't think my blowing up ball did anything, unfortunately. Be nice if it had done. And also, I'm currently going to be doing lots of episodes in a row of using different weapons because I want to try get through a ton of them because I have tons available to me that I have not done, and I have some that I've done like an episode where the majority of the episode I played it, but then I've switched to other episodes, so I don't not episodes other weapons, so I don't count that. So. I think what I might do is get a Google Sheets and make a list of the weapons I've done and the weapons I haven't, even if I've unlocked, not unlocked them yet. And I'll just delete the ones that I have done, so if I ever need to record an episode, I can just look on there, and if I have a weapon on there unlocked, then I can record an episode on it. I think that's what I might do. Can I kill that guy? Yes, I killed whatever his name is. Um. I should have just read it off the bottom, it will have said splatted and then his name, but I was too busy not paying attention. Ooh, someone's gonna come here. There we go. It's really easy to kill them because the arrow changes colour as they get close. So, well, it loses its colour, so when it's just about to lose its colour, then, you know, they're just about to land. Right, no one's on the actual tower, so... Fast travelling, super jumping even, to the tower would not be the most intelligent of ideas. Right, I'm going to try and kill the guy up there. 
because lots of people make the mistake and I probably would to be honest I'm not gonna call them bad or anything for it but lots of people make the mistake of going and staying up there just stood up there and so if they don't realize that we can just splat them really easy like that guy then he I don't think he realized how easy it is for us to splat him while he's up there Ooh, there's a purple guy somewhere that I need to try kill I should probably come up I'm gonna get killed I think and there's two guys teleporting there so this may not go very well like we need to right, I'm gonna try rush ahead of the tower which will be helpful because of the fact I've got a baller right, if I no I didn't manage to kill any but if we can just overtake them that's all I really want if we can get 11 I might be able to teleport to him without dying no someone's gonna kill me instantly I guess at least I wasted the time and they'll be further away from getting the tower and getting even further into the lead than they would have been right that guy's dead I need to get on here this way I mean I'm pretty sure everyone knows that I need to like hide in this corner now I'm gonna get killed anyway no I'm not ew I killed the guy on the tower because of my ball Blah. right this isn't going too well is it I'm not very good at using the ball to be completely honest but I try. Right, can this... Yes, it can. God, they've got a lot of people defending. Right, we, we've lost. For sure. Yep. I decided to switch back to Terror since we seem to be having no luck on tower control. So... Therefore, should theoretically go a bit better because we did win our one game that was on Therefore. Plus, it seems to go just better in case of I wasn't dying as much and things like that. But I mean, that could have just been that one game, so I guess we'll find out whether it was just that one game or if it's just Therefore's a lot better with this weapon in this match. But it seems the other team, wherever they are, they're not too busy. Right, this isn't gonna go well. Yep, I died. Um, hopefully, I won't die again. Because, obviously, I don't want to die too much. As it's not the greatest thing to do. I like this music. It's all I comment on. I should find out what the titles of these songs are called. Because I can probably just search them on YouTube. Because I know a lot of the Splatoon 1 songs were on YouTube. And theoretically Splatoon 2 will become a more popular game. Because the Switch is on its way to be a lot, lot more popular than the Wii U was. So, yeah. In my opinion, Splatoon 2 will sell better than Splatoon 1. I don't know if it is or has or anything like that. But I would assume so. Oh, he's got a baller now. Let's run away. Well, swim away, technically, not run. Can I kill him? No. Apparently not. Right, let's get this area covered and this weapon seems to be okay for coverage because I don't know if it is or not but I say an okay amount of coverage is if you get 700 odd by the time there's a minute remaining and I'd say like decent coverage is when you get well good coverage is when you get above a thousand well a thousand and above I'd say that's good good coverage but it does all depend on the weapon you're using because certain weapons don't get as much coverage as others, but they still 
are very useful for what they do. But, for example, chargers, they don't get much coverage, really. Like, you don't often see chargers getting over a thousand in a game. But they get a lot of kills and they prevent the enemy team from tearing up, getting a lot of area covered. So they are very, very useful to have on your team sometimes. And I'd say we did quite good that game because we got a thousand and a bit. I think it's like a thousand and twenty-five P or something like that. Which will double, not double, it'll add a thousand too because we won. So that'll be nice for earning quite a bit of money. Here we are, we're on Stedge and Shipyard, I think it's called this time. Um, something like that. And hopefully we can pick up another win. We seem to be a lot better at Turf War than we are at Tower Control with this weapon. As we got the most coverage on our team, which is nice. And we just have won all our Turf War matches this episode, so... I'd say it's quite good for Turf War, and it seemed to be quite good for Salmon Run, but then again, any weapon is good for Salmon Run, really. How Salmon Run works is, as long as you're okay and confident with a particular weapon, I'd say you're quite fine to use that. So, that's in my opinion how Salmon Run does work. It's just a case of, if you're confident with the weapon, it works. And I didn't know that it had that much range. And they have a guy doing nothing, it seems. And I didn't know we were that close to their spawn point. Or I would probably have not gone up there. But I think it's because they're, they've not been pushing very far. And yet one of theirs has quit. So we're probably going to win this game, which like I'm not going to complain about. But it isn't really fair on them. So it's unfortunate for them. And it's fortunate for us. But... Yeah, it's not too good when people do that. It'd probably be good if Nintendo could make it so it just made them play as a bot that tried to be like similar to their level. So maybe they could do that in a future update, but I don't think that's unlikely. As it kind of encouraged people to quit because then they wouldn't be annoying their team as much because the team would still have four players just technically not all four of them would be actual players and we're doing a bit worse I'd say this game as we've only got 600p so far and there's a minute remaining but doesn't necessarily mean we're doing terrible and that looks like an area that can be covered and it won't count as it's on a wall but still this should apparently not count Ooh, there's a guy there getting way too much coverage. Let's try kill him. Or at least cover up the coverage he just gained for his team and gain it back for our team. Because we want to win, obviously. I don't think anyone would want to lose unless they're doing like, a challenge to see how many times they can lose. And we both killed each other, which is better than him killing me and... Oh no, they're going to win, aren't they? No, we've actually got their side, so it's not too bad. Right, I'm just going to try to get as much of this area covered as I can. Right, I think we're fine. Let's see. Yep, we've definitely won that game. So, overall, my like impressions on this weapon are... Uh, it's good for Tear 4. It's not too good for Tower Control. And just completely overall, it's an okay weapon, and I find it quite okay, and I might use it again in the future. But I hope you enjoyed this weapon, well, yeah, this weapon, I guess, but this episode, if you did, let me know down below by leaving a like. Also, comment down below any weapons, other weapons you'd like me to use, just bear in mind, I have done quite a few already, so make sure it's not one I've already used by just looking through or my Splatoon 2 videos, which will be in a playlist if you go to the playlist section on my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.